Okay, in this video, we're going to create a menu. with corresponding submenu and this can be implemented using either switch or if else so we could start by asking for or perhaps printing the supposed menu mm, we could come up with print like this and a new line so I just make this put string and print F also equal to this and this one could have the first item mm, it could be submenu one second one sub menu two or have the last one to be exit so we should also take note that any other number we should uh, print invalid okay so let's just first make the main menu work by a simple printf of the string so we could ask for the choice so the choice could be entered using just a simple prompt like this And after that, we will scan the value. Um, prior to that, we have to declare the variable to handle the choice. So let's scan the integer. save it to the address of choice then we could simply perform switch so it's either way we could do switch here or if else so in our case let's just do a simple switch so case one and 
then we will simply print put string submin1 was chosen case 2 so put string sub menu 2 was chosen and finally about case 3 exit <laughs> was chosen just copy paste this okay so uh, to take care of the invalid input we could set a default case print invalid okay so I guess this works try to compile so GCC uh, warnings all the file is still hello I should save it in another file anyway output um, yeah hello okay so um, let's run the code uh, so we have the main menu if I press 1 it should print sub menu ah so there's a problem it printed all the all the cases and that's because we forgot to break the cases default doesn't need the break so I believe this should work let's run it so I press 1 sub menu 1 was chosen run it again I press 2 sub menu 2 was chosen um, run it again 3 exit was chosen run it again um, invalid uh, maybe five invalid input another invalid maybe zero invalid input so now that we know that the main menu works we could proceed with the sub menu let's start 